Artist Faye Claridge took RHS archives from the World War I Rulebun internment camp into HMP Send for participants to compare past and present experiences of gardening in incarceration. Like the World War I photographer who was allowed into the camp on occasions to take photographs for prisoners to post home, Faye was given permission to work with participants at HMP Send to make the following portraits. My polytunnel is my little bit of freedom. Within this tunnel, I don't feel like a prisoner. I really struggled when I first arrived at this prison with my mental health. Um, I was a little fragile. Just to have this, this little space where I can be a little bit creative and do my own little thing, it's amazing. I'm in a much better place today because of it. Oh my God, I'm lost down here. I come down here, I'm down here in the mornings for about three hours and in the afternoons two and a half hours. And by the time I get here, it feels like it's time to go. It's never enough time. I've never gardened before. No, I never know nothing about it. I'm learning every day. It's a constant learning. Obviously, I've never been in prison before, but coming here and seeing how it is, it's opened my eyes. From the life I lived outside to coming here, I'm alive now. And I'm clean off of everything for the first time in my life. I'm flourishing like my fruits. <laughs> for the time that you're in the garden, see, that's your creation, that's your environment, that's, it's pretty, it's, it's work, it's, it's taking your mind off anything that's connected to a prison and that's, that's why it's very different and, and, and very enjoyable. Instead of being, you know, dragging on time and thinking about, oh, you're being incarcerated, you have actually a completely different environment. Every time something grows, to me it's like magic. This is the first time I've ever grown anything. The first time I've ever had anything to do with gardening. I absolutely love it. When I come down here, I, everything goes. The prison, the food, not seeing my family. I can just lose myself in it. I found it hard to come down here because of my mental health. But um, down, being down here helps my mental health. So yeah, it's quite therapeutic. Uh, it yes. takes my mind off everything. Yeah, just I just focus on what I'm doing down here. It feels good that I've got my own little thing to deal with. Yes. My patch. Like, it keeps me out of my room and it keeps me keeps me active and keeps my mind going as well. To me, it's a moment of escapism and uh, it's also extremely important as we enter these very strange times, to be able to grow your own produce. Before I, was, um, I came here, <laughs> I was just going to become self-sufficient and do everything myself. So I've decided to really start out, think outside the box and change my perceptions on everything. And gardening most definitely helps that. It's fantastic for well-being. It's relaxing. It gives you a sense of achievement. I just love it. Each day was more of a struggle, to tell you the truth. You didn't wake up and look forward to anything. You woke up thinking, I've got to get through another day. And now you wake up thinking, ooh, I wonder how my plants are doing. I find the environment inspiring. It gives you just a different level of knowing and seeing and freedom um, away from the bureaucracy of day-to-day -day prison life. As I stand in here listening, I've noticed the bean has wrapped itself around the leaf of the corn to hold the leaf up, to offer support and reassurance. That symbolises to me what the horticultural side of prison can bring, support from a different land, from a different species, and understanding with that. Amazing, amazing.